Hi and welcome to another Wonder Build tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to utilize Wonder Build's messaging to communicate with your team and clients. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we'll do is navigate to the job section. So I'll hover over the sidebar to the left, click on jobs, and let's just choose an example. So Donovan's home. And from here, you can now access the additional items. So let's go down to select messages. You'll notice here there's what's called channels on the left side. And these are split between your team. So this is your individuals that work within your organization. So if you go to the top right corner, you'll see here, these are the teammates that are currently active. So you've got Jane Doe and Alan Smith, and you've got the other channel, which is your client chat. So it's here that we can start to really separate the conversation between internal team dialogue, as well as your uh, outside or your customers or clients dialogue. And let's go ahead and create an example. So you can see there's a couple of messages here that were created. Let's just create another one. You can see here that we've created our first message and this is to our internal team. What you could also do is attach images like you see above. What you need to do is click the attach button. Once you start entering your message and select the image that you'd like to attach. And you can also delete the image by pressing this little icon here and upload a new one. Otherwise, once you're happy with the image that you've uploaded, click the send button and now your internal team can see the image also. And with that, you of course can now isolate the conversation directly to your client. And this is a really great way to separate the communication from your team to the client. And you can now have direct one-on-one -on -one communication with your end customer as well, which is really handy. So the example I'll give you is that perhaps we'd like to notify the end customer the concrete is being poured. Let's attach some images here. Click that send button. And also perhaps you'd like to notify the end customer that the kitchen bench tops have been installed. And of course, create the message, upload the image. There you go. Now the end customer has that last message shown when they log into Underbuild. And you can see here, it's a great way to keep your customer posted, keep them happy, as well as separate the chat between your team and your end customer. So what if you're on the go and you can't access your computer? Well, the good news is, is that you can go ahead and download Wonderbuild's app and manage your communications directly from your mobile or smartphone. With the Wonderbuild app now open, you can see that the first screen is the dashboard, which has all of your jobs and um, projects in one place. What I'd like you to do is just reference the chat icon at the bottom of the screen. So if you just tap on that on your mobile, it'll take you through to the two channels, so whether it you need to communicate with your clients or your team. So just starting off on the client chat or channel uh, and referencing the message that we created with the previous example to a client for Donovan's home, you can see that we've got the images attached in the thread. You can scroll up and you can then see uh, the previous messages and, or the history of that communication to your end customer. Now just to go back one screen, and let's look at the team chat now. So here's the message that we sent to your staff or your contractors or your individual team. And you can see the images that we also created here as well. Now with the Wonder Build app, it's not just a great way to manage your projects uh, on your mobile device, but also a great way to communicate and even replace your traditional communication methods with other applications such as SMSing or using WhatsApp with like a lot of other, other builders do. So what I recommend is download the Wonderbuild app and now you can have your communication on the go. What I'd like to show you now is how to see all your messages in one place, a global view of all messages throughout every job in one place. And in order to access that screen, what you need to do is go to the menu to the left, of course, and go to communication. And you can see here, if I just collapse that, the two channels and within those two channels, the associated messages by job. So let's have a look at team chat as an example. And you can see here that under this channel, you've got every single job listed for your internal messaging within your team. So there's the messages on the right that we created um, earlier with the images and etc. And just to collapse that client chat. So you can now see all of the jobs associated to your client chat. 
And again, the message that we created earlier. Utilizing this method of seeing all messages in one place by job is a great way to quickly and easily find communications whether to your team or in customer. Now that concludes our tutorial on messages and communication. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.